Well, I'm joined now in the studio by Aminullah Habibi, a former senior advisor to the international forces in Afghanistan. Thank you very much for You're coming welcome. in to speak to us. So we've seen a number of different attacks in Afghanistan in recent days. Two major attacks are targeting the army and the police in northern provinces in the country. But today we see an attack on students in western Kabul. What was different about the attack today? Well, this attack is uh, to some extent linked to some sectarian um, violence that we've seen in the region, not only Afghanistan. Uh, we've seen something like this uh, in the past uh, 30, 40 years in Pakistan. And I think the extremist groups are copying, either copying that um, sectarian violence and bring it to Afghanistan or perpetrate it by some uh, extremist groups uh, beyond the borders of Afghanistan through the local allies inside Afghanistan. So this is something to do with the very sectarian um, issues. And I think targeting only the Shia population and the Hazara population in Afghanistan shows that it is completely a sectarian issue rather than a, a big agenda for uh, big political um, gains. <clears throat> we have in the past seen the Taliban launch high casualty attacks on civilians, um, in including those in Kabul. We know that under the Taliban, you know, life was obviously difficult for the Hazara population. Can we be certain that they had nothing to do with this? Well, at the, the bottom line is that they are all linked to some in somewhere um, together. I mean, uh, the, the institutions, the the countries that are backing them and supporting these uh, violence in Afghanistan um, support violence in Afghanistan through different channels. And the insurgency through Taliban are targeting the government, the, the wider uh, political spectrum. But these sectarian violence is uh, going through narrow, uh, in my view, uh, very sectarian uh, extremist groups that are um, supported in some cases by the government institutions in the region. So it's not <clears throat> clear-cut. You can't blame, blame at the door of any one individual uh, group or organisation. Uh, all these different elements are interlinked. How does the government even begin to tackle something like this? How can they prevent such brutal, vicious attacks when obviously it involves local actors on one level, but also external players as well. I'm afraid the government is failing, failing to provide security for the, for the Afghan people, failing to... Um, we've seen Ghazni, it was on the news that, you know, uh, the government, the interior minister was saying that we knew for months that the, the Taliban are, were um, preparing to attack Ghazni. But the question is why, if you, if you knew as a government why didn't you prevent that? Why didn't you go and tackle that? And the, and the security situation even in Ghazni today is, is not good. The, um, Ashraf Ghani was saying today that we've driven the insurgents out of the city. But, but what, so what? They are at the outskirts of the city and regroup and come back and attack again. So it, the, the answer is that the government is failing. The security institutions are not managed properly. The war is not managed properly. Otherwise, Afghanistan have a lot of resources. More than 350,000 uh, troops in Afghanistan um, trained and supported by the international community. But I'm afraid the government, the national unity government, is failing to, to, uh, to do its job. We see more and more civilians are, are being <clears throat> killed in the war in Afghanistan. We see an intensifying insurgency offensive by the Taliban. There are also other groups now involved as well. Of course, the government, it is their responsibility to protect the people, but what more support should their international partners be giving them? I think the interna um, our international partners, our international allies know what the problem is. And I think they, uh, the expectation is that they put pressure on the roots of these um, violence. And the, the governments, the institutions that are supporting this insurgency and this violence in Afghanistan. There are lots of, um, I mean, elements in the region that does not want Afghanistan to, <coughs> to excuse me, to be a peaceful country, to, to stand on its feet. But I'm afraid um, the international community know that. And uh, so far, we haven't seen a very uh, serious action to stop them. Well, thank you very much for You're sharing right. your thoughts with us. Aminola Habibi, former senior advisor to You're international right. forces in thank Afghanistan. You.